Hello and welcome to episode four um, of the Minecraft world. And I did actually post a, just a short video um, showing the progression on the Birch Mansion. So if you did see that, then you saw that I have finished the second floor ruin of the mansion. And I have also started on the roof. So just in case you haven't seen the first episode, the roof is like this at the moment. But I'm thinking of just um, like finishing off this stairway here and then actually just filling the rest in with slabs so it doesn't go too high because we don't want it going like really, really high. So in this episode, I'm going to finish that. I'm going to start building the sugarcane farm, which I'm going to need to get my enchantment table. Then I'm going to, as well as the enchantment table, complete the interior in the mansion and then... Um, get on to actually going to the nether in order to get the materials needed to turn zombie villagers into villagers to start trading enchanting my armor and just getting some um like levels really and then once i've completed that i can go for netherite mining which will probably be in uh, a future episode so for now i'm actually just going to um finish uh get this iron that i've been smelting and then go and make some buckets in order to get some water to actually build the sugarcane farm so the sugarcane farm is built obviously it's nothing much yet um but i'm gonna work on it as i get more sugarcane but the sugarcane at first is going to need to be used for paper to make the bookshelves um, so now I'm just going to get some more material for the birch um, mansion and finish off the roof. So I have actually only made 56 stairs because, as I said, I'm not going to actually finish the whole building with stairs. I am going to use slabs as well. So I think 56 stairs should finish this part off here. And then all we'll need to do then is just place in the slabs. So the stairs have been built now, so now I'm just going to fill in all of this area with slabs and then I'll make sure that there is some light on the top so um, obviously it looks nicer from the outside. So I've made all of the slabs that I should need, I mean I've got a lot there, 5 stacks and 16. So um, now I've basically just got to fill it all in by just, hopefully it's not going to do that, but I've just got to fill it in by just going all the way across and it should look really nice so the slabbing is now complete and this is how it looks like from the top so if i just place a few torches because it will make it look lots nicer and um hopefully now um we can just start on the interior and hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to find any obsidian to actually get um the enchantment table done so that's going to be my next project but for now i just want to quickly see what it actually looks like now from the outside so there we go that's how it looks like from the outside so i just need to light the top area up and um then i just need to start on the interior i also forgot to mention that i do plan to make a balcony right there so i feel that it'll be look it will look nicer and i could possibly just have an area there where um I could just put a few more things to make it look a bit more like a mansion so i'll be working on that too so i have actually lit up the upstairs and i have built the stairway now so i've gone for just a nice design just quite classic um and it leads up to here and i am also going to complete a floor here to have a bit of um, an attic area i believe unless um i might keep it as this and have a big light in the middle of the room but i'll just see how it goes with the other rooms that i'm actually going to make so although very slowly the sugarcane has actually started to grow so i think a good idea will be to actually um whilst waiting for the rest of the sugarcane to start growing i may just go and actually um go to the nether now and get the materials needed and hopefully i can find the nether fortress quite quickly so i'm going to do that now so actually in the process of looking for um some obsidian i found a spectacular cave which is actually just right by my base and as you can see it goes around everywhere and i'm hoping that this place has got some obsidian i'm sure that down there there will be some so i'm going to go and have a look now
So, um, I've now got the obsidian that I needed. Um, the nether fort, well, the nether portal, sorry, is built. Um, so now I just need to actually go and get a flint and steel, uh, light it, and then hopefully the sugar cane should start growing. So I am just going to keep on collecting it as I do other things as well, just so I can finally come together to actually make this um, enchantment table. So I'm just going to light the leather portal and see what the spawn is like. So the spawn is pretty good. There is um, a red biome below me. Um, right, right down there. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I'm just hoping that we could find another fortress nearby. So the mansion is now built. Uh, there's just a few more interior designs that I need to do inside of there. But... I've also been to the nether as you probably see uh, as you probably have seen in a little snippet that I showed you the spawn and um, I now just need to try and find the nether fortress so I've been in there and I found that I am next to a red biome so in the next episode I will be exploring the nether getting everything I need for the villagers and then finally enchanting my armor and then the episode after that I will most likely be getting netherite armor so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode